We are here uh, in Doha. Um, we have come here uh, first to thank the government and the people of South Africa, but the leadership of the world under the umbrella of the UNFCCC and the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for having given us or acquired us an opportunity to lead the UNFCCC during the year uh, under COP17, COP7. Uh, we are handing over with humility, satisfied that while the global community is still grappling with the challenges of climate change and how we should continue to work together uh, to mitigate against that and adapt uh, under the leadership of South Africa taking over from Mexico, we have collectively managed to take back the process to multilateralism. Multilateralism and the trust that our global community leadership should and have bestowed back to the process uh, is sound and that's what we are handing over to Qatar in this COP18, COP8. We have, through the Durban process, uh, managed to launch the Green Climate Fund, which is fully operational. Now with the Secretariat fully established and the home for the Green Climate Fund, which will be Seoul in South Korea. We now have adaptation committee with a full standing committee and climate, uh, uh, technology and innovation in place for adaptation. We've also, through Deben, managed to get an agreement on the second commitment on the Kyoto Protocol, which was very, very critical. This is the only mechanism we have at hand, which we know. What should be concluded, amongst other things, in Doha is that we need to determine the length of time this uh, second commitment period on the Kyoto should be. And the negotiators and the ministers should then decide whether it's going to be five or eight years while we will be moving over to a legal mechanism that would have to accommodate all and will be binding to all under the UNFCCC. When we went to Durban, or when we landed in Durban, as you said earlier on, the trust was eroded. It's very, very critical that in a multilateral system, you restore the trust. That was critical and that's what we attained. Secondly, we said the process is going to be open, transparent, inclusive, no deals cooked in some corners, and that's what we did. Uh, through the Indaba process. Uh, thirdly and more importantly, we managed to agree on the launch of the Green Climate Fund, which would go a long way in helping developing countries to adapt. We also launched a, a Deben platform of action, which brought about the ADP and the working group that has been established, which should help us wrap up the work also of the LCA as we move into focusing on the ADP, which takes forward the Devon platform, Enhanced Platform of Action, which looks at what we do in the five years that I've referred to, or eight years. That is, the one other concrete achievement was the, the, the buying into the second commitment period of the Kyoto, which, as I said earlier on, now leaders here have to decide whether they need this extension to be five years or eight years. Thirdly, and with that which the Diamond Platform of Action says, is how do we then by 2020 move on into this uh, new mechanism under the uh, UNFCCC, under the convention. When we left Copenhagen, I think the only good thing that people remember Copenhagen on was the commitment that there is need for commitment, particularly from governments, to fund the ad, uh, adaptation and mitigation initiatives, but largely 
adaptation. And that we need a fund of about, at that time, a stop gap of 30 billion from Copenhagen to Bevin. But beyond that, from that time to 2020, that we should have collected uh, at the rate of 100 billion to be able to help particularly developing countries, uh, 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 LCDs, and the small island uh, countries uh, to adapt to these challenges, but also to acquire technologies that would help them uh, as we move forward. But also to bring in the private sector again uh, to work together with us and the developed countries on issues around mitigation, while we use the clean development mechanisms that come with the extension of the uh, Kyoto Protocol. The other good thing that uh, I'm really quite uh, humbled about is that we're on the sidelines of this, uh, of this conference, one of the key uh, uh, activities here would be me handing over to the, uh, Mr. Alatia, the uh, incoming president of the COP, but also to launch a book on uh, Tuto Yabatu. It's a legacy project that really, really, really taught me a lot, and I'm sure many other women leaders would agree. The title of the book is Tuto Yabatu, Teachings from Our People, just on how ordinary women have done things for themselves as they continue, particularly in developing countries, to adapt on their own, coming up with, with innovative methods, if you like, indigenous knowledge mechanisms to adapt to the challenges so that they continue to do what they know best, to take care of their families and feed uh, their people. In our, the continent where we come from, Africa, 80% of food production is by rural women who don't fight over land ownership, for example, but who just want to continue what they know best. So supported and assisted through these uh, uh, adaptation uh, mechanisms, I think we can go a long way. So we think this book, it's a reflection for all of us as women leaders, but also just uh, what one had learned uh, through this whole year uh, of the presidency of, of, of COP. But also to say, moving forward, women from all walks of life need to be, uh, and their voices needed to be taken heed of. South Africa is looking at, uh, and I'm sure the entire continent of Africa, that the gains we made in Durban are not lost. That there's no reneging on, on any of the commitments that we've made, because that's good for multilateralism. It's also good for us to advance on issues of climate change. Uh, we've seen many, many developments around the world that really prove that indeed climate change is here with us. We would want to see advancement on actually seeing money into the kitty of the Green Climate Fund. We would want to see the adaptation committee and the standing committee thereof assisted. We would want to see technology mechanisms, not technology transfer, moving forward. We would want to see that we consolidate the work of the ADP, that which has to advance the Durban platform of action, which was a package that says, wrap up the work of the LCA, clearly state the extension period of the uh, Kyoto Protocol, put real money, cash, into the Green Climate Fund, now that we know where it will be uh, housed, defend the gains of Durban through the ADP and move forward. We, we've been having meetings uh, from Bonn to uh, Bangkok, where I launched the uh, negotiations under the ADP, and we got uh, confidence that uh, the uh, global leadership is now aware that there's no looking back Forward is where we should go because the global community is yearning for leadership. And we wish the incoming COP president all the best and we will provide support wherever it's needed.